Hey audio friends, Rob Heskin here. I'm sitting here next to my audio escape rack. I've got the Decomp 76F two matched Poltex. I also have, have the Optocomp too, but uh, there wasn't enough room in this <laughs> bad boy for it to fit, so I'll we'll have to find some other space for it. I had a session where this was patched bayed to the Poltex, so while that was up, I just I thought we'd get a little two for today and just spend some time um, digging into this thing. So I won't be talking during the over the audio samples, uh, but just some quick things about the D-Box real quick, if you're unfamiliar with them. Um, inputs and the outputs. So between these two, you can really drive this tone box here. Now the next switch on each of these channels, and by the way, these are unlinked, no matter if you hit this link or not, that just links the meters and I believe the uh, side chain but both channels are completely always independent, which is actually really nice. You can have just like a little bit of fluctuation on both your left and your right. Um, so after the input, this is where we really get into it. Um, you've got three selections here. You can do this, which is, uh, it's called out, but really all you're doing now is running through the transformers and it kind of turns into a distortion box at this point. Um, and we run through all of these during the uh, examples. We've got compressor, and we got limiter, you guys all know those. And then this guy's really important, obviously, this is the uh, sidechain high pass filter. Um, all the way over here, it's gonna let a lot of that uh, low end information through without getting compressed. We also mess with this both ways. You'll notice that when the sidechain thing is all the way out, it's really catching a lot more peaks of the low end. And uh, so the whole com compressor kind of goes along with that. So. You, typically, I leave it around there just to let all the uh, low information through. Uh, obviously, the output is the output. Um, the attack is the attack, and the release is the release. A couple quick things about this. You'll be surprised how fast this thing can go, too. You'll see how quickly it can recover and how fast it can move. Um, I put some drum loops through it, and the two different drum loops in this particular song are a little different. One has a little bit more low end than the other one. So I think all of that will come out as we go through it all. But that's that's kind of it. I'll probably do another one that's a little bit more in depth on these guys and on this. I was trying to figure out how to shoot the video to include the whole rack, but it just got so wide and I couldn't see any of the information up here. So I cropped this one out just because these are going to be the same anyway. So I was trying to focus more on this. I might just do one just on this because having watched some of it back, I would have shot it a little bit differently. But I broke it all down, so it is what it is. But it'll be a nice representation uh, and a good little intro to these bad boys. So with that, let's get it kicking. <laughs> 